Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kat, the Nurse Flipper. Doing this really quick because I'm headed to work. So I'm a part-time reseller out of North Florida, and I show what's sold, thrift hauls, and different reselling-related tips. So today I'm going to show you guys some coverage from an estate sale that I went to on Friday, and then I'm also going to show you the giant haul. So I went to the estate sale, I did get some coverage there, and then I also went to two thrift stores. I didn't get coverage there, my GoPro wasn't working. So I am going to show you guys what I picked up. There are some amazing finds, guys. Um, a couple of things should sell for over $100, and one should sell for over 500 I hope. So let's take a look. Morning. So guys, this is crazy. Do you see all these cars? They just opened five minutes ago. I was going to use my GoPro and it says SD card error. So we're going old school style with the cell phone. Look at all the cars. Yes, we never got around to pricing a lot. <laughs> How much is the goofy phone? Fifteen. Okay. Mickey's fifteen too. You could have. What goofy about the pictures? You can have Goofy and Miss Mickey. How much for the three? Is this the lid? I think this is the lid to that one. Yeah, and I think... Oh, uh, that there were a lot of safety pins in it. Made in Italy. Oh, this is all hand-painted. Uh, Ten bucks for the two. He's all hand-painted. Okay. Let me set that one back there. I think that's the lid, though. <laughs> Somebody probably spent a ton of money on them. Do you have a place I can put these so I don't have to uh, carry them? Oh, yes. let me excuse come me. Over here Whoa, mom, this chair's going. Come I'm there, yeah, there's a lot. Ooh, beware. I saw it coming. Huh? Where? That's so pretty. I know. Bradley used to have one of those frogs. Excuse me. I love this, Mom. I saw that online. Yeah, once you're there, you're going to want to let it go. Oh, that's cute. This is cute, Mom. <laughs> All right, let's go inside, Mom. Yes. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, it's me. I like that she called me a young lady. I was born in junior, so I got two bucks and two bucks I just got you those sheets and towels, Mom. Okay. Okay. Do, who do I need to ask if she want to make me a deal on the whole box of playing cards? Oh, you have to talk to them. I'll the one out there. Them. Okay, yeah. I'll ask her. I'm only handling the jewelry. You're just handling the jewelry. <laughs> Feel like looking through them all. Um, is ten too much for all of them? Um, I don't know how many are there. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, heavy too. How many are there? That's empty. <laughs> Would you do seven? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I have I have a handful. Sure, why not? Cause I need more stuff. Okay. So this is this is empty. I have, okay, that's empty. I have my stuff outside. I think I'm almost done looking. Um, how much for the Mickey toys? Do you want to do something for that box? I, listen, do you, I was going to say, I was, yeah, that's fine. I was going to say, do you want to take this? But I don't know if this is any lighter than that. I can do either. If you do cash, I can deal with you. If you can't, you have to go see Melanie and the prices are going to be higher. That's fine. I have money in my pocket. Oh, I need to look at those shirts. Let's sit well, it. Where do you want me to put this so you can look? I'll this table. Yeah. And this lovely lady will guard it. Hey, sweetheart. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, where's your hairdresser located? Uh, right on uh, 44. Do you, know where... do you think you're ready to go? I'm not ready to go-go. Okay. Well, you sound like you're dancing. Do you want to sit it here? 
I'm yeah, definitely. I would, I would can I right sit here. this here? Sure. And then I'm gonna make one more pass through. Ow, my fingers are gonna. No look at my fingers. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's all your stack. That's all my stack. No, I'll come back with the number. And then one. let's look at I, the Mickey. I'm, you know, I'm collecting for the jewelry. The only thing is uh, the guy. Uh, on. Okay. Okay. So how much is in there? Let's see. These are a dollar too. Throw them in. Hey. Hey. Is this your husband? No. Oh, I thought, yeah. no we, just we, just we just met just now. Well, We're good friends. Best friends right? My new best friend. And did the manatee statue thing sell? I think so. Okay. I've got nine dollars here. Okay. Okay. Yep. You want me to put it in the other room? Yes. Do you want to pay for that? I look outside one more time, Mom. She's got my stuff back there. The one guy said it was stamped on my forehead. Where are you from? Tampa? Been in there for 40 years. Moving up the road. Do you like these? I'm in Spring Hill. Yeah? Oh, that's great. I lived in Spring Hill in 1974. Oh, excuse me. It was not quite as popular. We got all the services there. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can fall out of my bed and wind up in a wall. Yeah. <laughs> Ava Lady. Ava Lady. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. guys so I was gonna show you outside but it's raining so I brought some of this stuff in I went to a state sale and two thrift stores today and spent a lot so 
first are these Garfield slippers. They actually have comps from 20 to 40. As you can see, I paid a dollar for those. I paid a dollar for this Goofy. He does something. He's really dusty. So I'm going to try and just wipe him off because I don't want to mess up the electronics on that. And then I paid, I think, 10 for these. This is an egg holder. And then there's this um, pitcher. They're made in Italy. Uh, William Sonoma. So I haven't comped these yet. They're really cool, though. And then there's also, so there's the big one and also a smaller one. So I'll probably sell that as a set. And then these I paid a dollar for as well. There's this Mickey Mouse puppet. I don't know. It does have a tag. Let's see when this is from. Um, I don't see a year here. It's Mattel. But there is no year. So have to see. But I didn't see. That's really stained. So I'll have to wash that. A lot of this stuff was in a garage. Um, got this little goofy clock which I don't, that just says Suncoast Globes, so I'll have to test that, dollar for that, picked up this vintage Garfield chip clip, not sure, that's from 1978, I gotta clean this, you see it's nasty, and then I got these two cool stone carved elephants, I paid two dollars for those, got this goofy blank I also got Dalton that stool he's pushing around Dalton stop stop pushing it while mommy's doing this so I got CSI um, seasons one two three four and five I saw one through six sold for 50 so I paid five for these um, five seasons and I, I'm hoping I can get 50, even though it's only one through five. So I also got this donkey. This one actually says Onyx Teles, Mexico. So $2 for him. And then, let's see. So I got, I got this whole box of playing cards. They wanted, this is empty. They wanted 50 cents each for these. Um, I asked her how much for the whole box and I got them for $7 for everything. So I'm gonna have mom take some pictures of these. Oh. So hopefully some of these will be worth something. These probably will be, these are Alaska Airlines brand new in that little pack and then Congress playing cards I haven't looked at any of these I just kind of offered so I'll have to take their names off of this but um let's see so Brandon Iron whoa Um, Mexico playing cards, still new. Some Florida, I believe these are round playing cards, I think. And then there's some more playing cards. Um, let's see. And these plain ones we'll just have to see. Las Vegas Delta Airlines playing cards. There's some Hershey's Kisses. Some more Hershey's Kisses. So I paid seven for the whole box. I think I'll be fine. Canteen Corporation. Um, there's some Coca Cola. More Alaska Airlines. Uh, 
that's pretty cool. Cool, mild. Some playing cards. Um, Alaska Airlines. Some cough. I have to see if I can find those. There's some more. Souvenir Florida. Expressway Dodge. So a lot of these are sealed, which is nice. Um, this says Casino Aztar. Playing cards. Linen finish. Las Vegas, Nevada. I don't know how much cards these people are playing, but... There's another Expressway Dodge. Dalton, don't do that. Eastern Airlines. Here is some vintage Christmas cards. These are Salon Regis. Those are giant. Okay. So I'll have to find those. Some chilies. It says Mac. That symbol. And then in the box down here. Coca-Cola, Aviato, Western Airlines, Ryder, Carnival Cruise, probably going to be more Playgirl brand. Okay guys, so I don't think there's a way I can show you everything, but I'm going to show you a few more pieces. This is this really cool fish ceramic bowl. I paid $3.50. It was made in Italy, which is pretty cool. And then there's this awesome, and this is wide, I think about eight inches. This is a bowl that was also made in Italy. Um, so really pretty. There's this owl. And there's some comps on this one at $20, $25. I paid $5. This is Bennington, Vermont Pottery. You can see the glaze there. Really pretty. And then over here, I put up this really cool um, Mexican vase. And then there's that yellow mid-century modern coffee canister. This piece here, um, there are some sold comps on Worth Point for this artist at twelve hundred dollars i paid twelve dollars for this this is Merritt island potters and it's really cool i didn't turn it a good way here so there's the maker's stamp it also is signed Merritt island potters and it's pretty cool this guy was the first potter in florida in 1937 so i looked up a little bit um his name was melvin casper pretty cool story so i have this listed um I believe at $8.99 and I paid $12 for that. I got a ton of shirts. Their clothes there were 50 cent and a dollar. This is a Foxhead Lounge Bike Week. It's not vintage, it's from 2008. Um, but my other Foxhead Lounge sold pretty easy. Got this happy, happy, happy Duck Dynasty shirt. Got a couple of these. These don't have a great sell through rate, but for a dollar I'll sit on them. They're pretty cool little fishing shirts. Um, these are north river outfitters they feel really heavy um and they're pretty nice and then i got this super bowl champions the hats there were a dollar these dust hound mugs i paid 50 cents at the estate sale and i think these are comping at like 15 dollars this alaska mug which is pretty cool this i believe comps out about 15 or 20 as well i got 
Pink Panther. Try and uncover some of this stuff for you guys. There's a bunch of clothes because they were so cheap. Did get this Super Bowl Champions, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and then got this really cool picture. I haven't been able to identify it, and I can't. I I can't read exactly what this says. Um, so I've looked this up, but this is a beautiful little picture, hand painted, and then this Glidden pottery seems like it sells good as well. There are some high comps. That's a really bad drawn pair. These teacups were just beautiful. These are Grace Pottery, Handling England. Just really cool. I got two of those. Um, these, I think, will do good. These are actually Wedgwood. And I looked these up. These are from the 1920s. I paid a dollar per bowl. There are also the matching plates there. And then... This Robert Mayock sells pretty decent. I think I'll get like 10 to 15 for this little ashtray. Got the little goofy clock there. Um, this is going to go high. Um, this is another Merritt Island Potter's piece. So some of the small ones, I paid four for this, were selling for $60 to $100. So this is a really cool piece. And then I look this jug up. Apparently, this is an old maple syrup jug. This is from Lion's Lair, Pittsburgh, Vermont. It still has its cork. It does not have syrup. And I got this vase. The butterfly. This is Ansley Cottage Garden Pattern. This little Bah Humbug mug. That old Goofy needs washing. Brad has claimed that Garfield clip. Brad loves Garfield. There's another pear plate. And then this is really cool. This um, triple divided. That's Glidden Pottery as well. All right. So the last that I brought in already. This is Franciscan Apple. Paid $2. I think I'll get about $20. Um, Franciscan made in California. This is Pottery Apple. I have a whole tote full of this. Um paid 40 to 50 for it and I think one of the canisters will sell for 60 to 80 by itself in that lot and let's go take a look at a few more things like I said I'm not going to be able to show you guys everything there's just too much all right guys so here is some more I got this Mickey lamp I thought it would comp out higher I do have to clean it obviously but um I paid three for it it looks like they comp at like 20 25 not horrible I got this Elvis ornament. These comp about 2025 as well. I got this really cool Marble Unlimited Canteen. It is Coleman brand, which is cool. Um, that's only comp at about 15. I paid three. Then this bowl. I'm not sure what this is used for. It's just signed Christie. Um, so somebody handmade it, but it's got these three little things in it. So if anybody knows what that bowl might be used for let me know i paid 50 cents for this it was on sale um at the thrift store they actually comp at about 15 dollars believe it or not this is more stuff from the estate sale so i got this vintage tampa bay lightning t-shirt this is a hanes adult large and so what I'm doing is the stuff that my mom can list I'm throwing over here in this tote because mom's doing clothes um some hard goods but not most and actually like like this is super flat so she can do that um I got a box up here and then I've got another box that I'm gonna list um I haven't comped this yet I'm hoping it comps good I only paid a dollar for it Walt Disney Company um it's Kurt Sadler and it is Mickey with the symbols there which is kind of cool I don't know I haven't really looked Kurt Sadler up um here is another this is classic Walt Disney collection 1996 collector society membership sculpture this is Winnie the Pooh needs cleaned as well 
So I paid a dollar for that as well. And then I paid three dollars. This whole bag is stuffed. You can see Goofy here. I don't know if these have a year on them. Um, 2001. So they're almost vintage. But there's a whole bag here. There's Daisy Duck. There's Pluto. So I'll probably try and like make up lots with all the characters if I can. There's a Mickey. Um, so I paid three bucks. Hopefully I can get more than that. So I'll probably list that. And then these, I couldn't even see these out. So let's see what these things look like. So this is a Mickey Mouse throw. I'm going to assume it's 48 by 60. That's what most are. Hoping I could see a year here somewhere. I do see the Disney down there, but I do not see a year. So I'm going to have to find that. This is really heavy though. Um, might. Oh, here we go. So Mickey and Co. 100%. Disney. I still do not see a year. So I've got an RN number there. It is Goodwin Weavers, which is a good brand for throws. So I will, it is a little faded if you see there. Take some photos of that. And then this one I couldn't see either. Just like in thrift stores, I grab throws. So let's see what this one is. This one is like birds it looks like. Chickens maybe. Some roosters there trying to see if I saw a maker's tag at this point I do not and I also got this scarf which mom can do as well I got this Santa Mickey Mouse hat with the Mickey ears Goofy's hat company Walt Disney company again I do not see a year on this um but I thought that might sell. And I'll take a photo of that because I'm going to put it on the hat stand. So this is really cool here. This is from the thrift store again now that we're in this bag. Um, I don't see any markings on this, but it is copper. So, and that's, I think, an alpaca or a llama. One or the other. So I thought that might do okay. Got this cool little like I love that butterfly handle cup um, these are formalities by bomb brothers so really cute like overall print and then this little cup this is again the thrift store that was 50 cents I got the saucer that goes with that here these actually comped out okay um, this is Franciscan been picking up a lot of Franciscan places lately. I don't know if I just didn't know the name so I wasn't picking them up before or what. But I'm finding a bunch now. Um, this was a dollar. This is Thomas Kincaid. A Light in the Storm third issue. So no chips or anything. Really pretty. These were actually comping I think at like $20, $25 and I paid one so not too bad there. Store. This is a really cool, like, vintage Key West cup. I thought that orange was pretty cool. So, I love, love, love this vase. And I paid 50 cents. Perfect. Probably less at 25 maybe $30. I gotta comp it. Um, and see, I'm not sure what's up with that clear kind of weird like they stretched it or I don't know what they did anyways that's a cool little swirl there this is another butterfly one this is classic coffee by Yeti this one has a candle in it I gotta figure out and get that out but another cool little cup you'll notice at thrift stores um a lot of times like if you see one thing look for others like those little butterfly 
teacups because somebody's whole collection probably got donated thought this was a pretty cool just it's not signed or anything but it's a really neat stoneware kind of a speckled pattern there gotta try and get paid 50 cent for that one it's honestly one of my favorite pieces that i found i was surprised they priced it so low so this is one of the handmade um it says north pole hot chocolate santa claus approved and um it's one of the insulated little like for hot cocoa i paid a dollar this is a really cool cup i don't drink coffee or hot cocoa so i will be selling it so i love that one all right guys some more thrift store stuff um the clothes there are a dollar so i picked all these up for a dollar these are hollister crop size three little booty shorts always sell for a dollar i'm definitely picking them up these kind of caught my eye because they've got like the little tropical print and they are um riders by lee mid rise skimmer so they look in great shape i thought those would do well and then i actually got this for my nephews but i don't know if they will like it but this is the brotherhood um it's like a halloween theme one the bone collector so i thought one of my nephews might like it i think my mom forgot to take it and then i got these hoping they'll sell pretty fast um with halloween coming up so i haven't checked these brands yet but like the collar super cool these are like this is an 1820 with the little boo it's got a pumpkin a cat super cute um so bobby brooks is the brand not super familiar with her but hopefully she does well i think a couple of these were her um this one is solutions but again really cool little fall striped embroidered shirt with the scarecrow and the pumpkin patch so i'm trying to think fall halloween like if i start seeing christmas stuff i will get that as well so here is a sweater this again is bobby brooks really cute like scarecrow squash um sweater it's like a sweater vest but super cool it's got some little beads um and it's also size 22 to 24 which is amazing like the bigger sizes sell way better so that is great and then this guy started watching for these because i actually got one in a christmas lot and he has his golf clubs here <laughs> gotta straighten them up so clothing um sells for about 20 25 dollars this one i paid three might price a little higher i think he's really cool with his little golf club there and his golf bag so we will see i need to use my air blower and blow him off and then i got this little water bottle for dalton for his soccer this throw i thought was pretty cool with the lighthouse scene um and like the waves i don't think i looked and so i paid three dollars for this one um i think i looked for a maker's mag mark when i was in there and didn't find one but that's okay so there was one but it was torn out so i'll just take some good pictures and then i actually picked up these little girl shoes um these are under armor and they look brand new so i paid four and i think i can get maybe 20 or 25 for these i got this i couldn't find any comps but this is a really cool collectible ornament it's a guy in a fishing boat with his net and he's got his fishing pole up there and it's definitely vintage collectible ornament i don't see a year on here but i just thought that would do good whoa picked me up this water bottle and then i got dalton some new really super cute slippers and last and this comps out at about 20 25 bucks i paid two again i'll have to get these prices i hate how they um write everything 
I didn't even know. So this has two little apple lampshades. This is vintage. It's from 1997. These have a really good sell-through rate too. I don't know if it even said that it came with two shades, but it has two shades. So pretty cool. That is the end of my thrift store stuff. Um, I have another, well, of one thrift store. I have another tote. I'm going to show you guys from the second thrift store. All right, guys, so this is the end of my haul. A lot of this you see is Franciscan Apple. I will show you guys. Keep an eye out for Franciscan. This is hand decorated, made in California. Apple seems to be one of the more popular brands. Um, I also got these two really cool um, canisters or cookie jars. These were made in Italy. Um, no maker's mark though. This is a Wakula pottery, really cool little trinket dish. And I paid $42.50 for all the Franciscan. There are 27 pieces, so it's just under $2 a piece. This came with the Franciscan, but this is not Franciscan. It's a really cool cow creamer. Um, and then these plates, there aren't many great comps, but they're really kind of mid-century modern looking. So it says four plates, two dollars. It was actually five. Um, they're Carnival Memphis, made in the Philippines. It looks almost like it's shell, to be honest. Um, I have a clock made of this um, abalone, almost. So, and then I also got the creamer to go along with the little mushroom sugar that I got. That I showed you guys. These are Glidden pottery. This sells good too show you guys glidden you can see they are stone um cool thing is these have numbers and um you can look up the piece by the number these are dinner plates so um yeah oh and this little dipper crock pot i paid too they only sell for about 15 bucks but it's cute and yeah so that's the end of my haul i am going to go watch some football now and get to listing. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Bye guys.